Alright, what's going on dudes, and welcome to a new Minecraft snapshot. The first one since Minecon, actually. And while, aside from a few bug fixes, it doesn't contain any changes to the gameplay, what it does contain is one big new feature that someone like myself finds to be very cool. So, some of you may have heard right around Minecon that Mojang was planning on integrating Twitch TV live streaming support directly into the Minecraft client. And that's what this snapshot brings us, alongside a, a new Mojang logo and some new C418 music, which you actually might be able to hear behind my talking right now. So, on to the live streaming support. Basically, the way it works is that actually I'm really pleased to say it's really easy to do. So for any of you who wanted to make videos or live stream, I mean, cow, hey, if you want to live stream, you, it's, it's so easy, you might even be able to do it. Yeah, you're looking at me like, I don't know about this, but I, I assure you, I'm, I'm gonna show you right now. So if we go into our settings here, options and broadcast settings, you have a, a set of your, your quality settings, more or less, um, you can adjust. Uh, what your bandwidth is going to be, how much data you're sending, uh, it's dependent upon your, your internet connection. If you have a really good internet connection, you can shoot it all the way up. Um, if you need to sort of compromise a bit because your internet can't handle that sort of upload speed, then you bring it down somewhere in the middle. You can also adjust your frame rate, um, what the volume is of your game that you're broadcasting, your microphone volume, uh, compression, so on and so forth. And there are also chat settings. So basically the way this works is that when someone in Twitch TV chat types a message, it'll actually show up as a, a chat message in the bottom left-hand corner as if they were typing to you in-game. Now I'll get to how that works in just a couple seconds when I actually start a broadcast. Um, but other than that, the way you set this up is you make an account on Twitch TV. If you have one, you're already golden. And then you sign into your account on mojang.com. It's just your regular Minecraft account. And then you just link your Twitch account, which just requires logging into Twitch and uh, approving Mojang's application access. And it's, 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 really, it's really that simple. Then all you do is figure out your settings, press F6, and you'll notice in the upper right-hand corner of my screen, there's a little red uh, recording dot. And then I'm live streaming right now. And I'm actually live streaming to a little test account because I didn't want to broadcast just a random test stream to um, my, my actual Twitch TV account. But what I can do over here is um, I'm looking on my, my other window and uh, the stream is actually broadcasting. And if I type a message over here in the chat, like hello snapshot video, which I'm doing on my second monitor and I hit it, then wait a minute and it shows up in the chat. So it gives a little Twitch designator, meaning it's from Twitch chat. And it's the message that I just typed in in Twitch, which is pretty freaking cool. And again, if you want to edit that, so if you have a really popular stream and you're using this method to broadcast, you may want to, I don't know, tweak your uh, your chat settings so that all messages aren't going through and you can use subscribers or moderators or again, back to, uh, to all viewers. So it's up to you. Um, maybe useful to do like a, a subscribers only showing up in game, whereas all viewers are showing up in the, uh, in the actual Twitch TV chat, which is, that's pretty cool. So again, I'm, I'm still broadcasting right now and I'm actually recording at the same time and there's really no noticeable uh, system frame rate lag going on because of it. And the stream actually looks really good in my second monitor. What I'll go ahead and do is I'll actually uh, provide a link in the description that'll take you to the VOD for the live stream so you can see what the quality looks like yourself. And you'll actually also, uh, you'll hear my voice. <laughs> actually, if I go ahead and unmute myself, you'll hear me repeat, but just so you hear sort of the, uh, the microphone quality. So one second and testing, testing. So that was probably a little bit quiet simply because I, I have my uh, volume turned down for uh, for game and, and, and system in DX story, but hopefully you, you heard it anyway. So that that's Twitch TV broadcasting in a nutshell. I'm actually very pleased with, with how simple it is. And for people who don't want to deal with OBS or XSplit or uh, any of these other um, capture when, and streaming softwares. This makes it really, really easy to broadcast gameplay. And I, I actually like, I sincerely mean it's very, very easy. You just log into Twitch, approve Mojang's access, and then press F6 and, and more or less you're good to go. And then if you have a microphone, it'll broadcast that as well. So anyway, that's about it for this snapshot. Hopefully you're enjoying the uh, pleasant new C418 music in the background, which by the way, is actually just playing naturally with me being in the game right now. And that's going to do it. So thanks for watching, dudes. Hope you've enjoyed. If you have a rating, would be much appreciated. And hopefully some of you will be broadcasting and recording your gameplay soon. And I'll see you next time.